Well, hi there. This is my first attempt at doing anything like this. If you had told me when I was in my teenage years that I'd be a Christian, I would have told you in no uncertain terms, no chance. If 15 years ago you had said to me or asked me, was I looking to be ordained, as in fact one of our former members, Jonathan, asked me at my interview, I would again told him, no, that's not the case. And here I am ordained. So I'm not surprised really that a week ago, if you had said to me I'd be doing anything like this, I would have laughed at you. This isn't my normal way of doing things, as you know. I'm going to read just one little verse from 1 Peter chapter 2. It's actually verse 12. And it says this. Live such good lives among the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. So here I am, a vlogger, an influencer perhaps, and I've been reading and looking at all the um, different YouTube videos about how to raise my profile and make sure that I make money, not that I'm intending to do that at all. I am now an influencer. And it actually strikes me that, yeah, we're all influencers. Our behaviour, our attitude does influence others. If you want a, an example at the moment, how many of us have bought more toilet rolls than we need? How many of us have almost criticised those who have been going in and getting four or five packs, as I saw in Audi yesterday? But then when we've got to that row of... Uh, of that, that aisle, should I say, we've um, looked and thought, oh, I know I've got some at home, but, well, I better be on the safe side. We do influence each other. And so that verse from Scripture reminds us that we're encouraged to live a life that does influence others, that causes them to look beyond themselves to God and recognise that there is someone who loves them and longs to guide them and teach them a better way of being. So my encouragement today is, in these times that are so uncertain, in these times when it's quite easy to be dragged down or, or get quite frustrated, that we should seek God's grace and guidance to be lifted up a bit, see if we can set the example, see if we can influence others by serving one another and serving the world around us in simple ways. If you go onto Facebook or other social media, you'll see that there's stuff going on locally where we can come together with others and help to look after those in need. Let's go for it. Let's really rise up and glorify God that others in turn will look to our deeds and glorify him too. We have a time of prayer, a time of prayer that asks for God's help. So let's pray. Loving God, we recognise that we are in times of great difficulty. And at times like this, it's very easy to get back to the more base attitudes of looking after ourselves and, and almost putting ourselves well ahead of anybody else. Lord, we, we pray that you would fill us with your compassion, that as we shop, as we walk around the neighbourhood, we will try and bring your light into the lives of others. We would share what you have blessed us with. And Lord, we, we pray for those who are at the front line of dealing with this virus. We lift to you the nurses <coughs> and the doctors and the other staff. We ask for your protection upon them. We ask that they may be assured of your love and your presence at this difficult time. We pray for the government, not just of this country, but of, of the world, Lord. We ask that you would grant them wisdom as they they walk in uncertain times, they face things they've never had to think of before and try and work the best way for both the health of this, these nations and also the, the world economy. 
We pray for those who are anxious at the moment, that they may have symptoms or they know someone who has the symptoms of this virus. Pray that you would reassure them, may they too know that you are very present in their lives. We pray for all those who are trying to keep this nation running, those who are involved in the supply of food, the local shopkeepers, those who are desperately trying to keep the shelves full while people strip them bare quicker than they can cope with, all those in farms and the transportation of food. And Lord, we pray for your church. We pray that in this time where we are finding it difficult to offer that face-to-face -face contact with one another, that through the use of social media and through the simple, simple examples of, of seeing each other and phoning each other and being with each other even from a distance of two metres, we can remain that body of Christ that you have created. We pray for our mission partners in different parts of the world. Some of those parts just not as well supplied with medical health. Lord, we pray that you would keep them safe. Help them to know that we are thinking of them. Help them to be encouraged. And Lord, we pray for ourselves. Help us to use our time wisely. That we might be ready for all that we are called to respond to at this time. If we ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And so we just say the Lord's Prayer together as we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well, this is my first attempt on Sunday, all being well, and if YouTube allow me, I'm going to try live feed so that we can have a bit more of um, an interaction, I hope. But uh, if this has worked and you've appreciated it, then do please send me an email or send me a, me <coughs> a message on Facebook uh, and then I'll know that I'm just not talking to myself. Take care of yourselves and God bless.